Thank you so much for joining me on my Sweet Sugar Crew collaboration monthly tutorials. This month's inspiration is from the movie Coco. Please make sure to read all the tools and supplies list in the description box below. We start off by rolling out some daisy gum paste and then tracing out the guitar shape. Next, we cut it out. And we use the same procedure for the neck. Give the head of the neck a more skull-like shape by indenting the eyes, squaring it off, and indenting the top. Use your guitar template to find the position of your sound hole. Next, we measure out the neck of the guitar and trim it off. Lay the neck on its side and trim it halfway through. This will make the neck of the guitar sit nicely in on the guitar. Insert your toothpick up to have it supported. Once fully inserted, trim off the neck again. We create the bridge by making some slits on a small rectangular piece. Create the frets by indenting with a blade. Use dry petal dust on the bridge and the frets. Use black edible ink on the sound bar. I made sure that I had a picture of Miguel's guitar on the side, off, the, off camera. And with that, I just freehanded the whole design on the guitar using black edible paint. If you're uncomfortable doing freehand, what I would suggest is that you draw out the design on a piece of paper, place it on top of the guitar, and with your dotting tool, trace out the design so that once you take off the paper, you could go over the indentation that is left behind with your black edible paint. I then use brown pedal dust on the edge of Miguel's guitar to add that little design that he has. After that, I went over the same brown spots with gold pedal dust. I then use that same brown pedal dust to go over the whole guitar to make it worn and dusty. Mixing white and black fondant, I created the little patch that is on the top of Miguel's guitar. I created the rivets with the tip of a mechanical pencil and finished it off with brown pedal dust. For the tape binding, again I mixed a little bit of black with white Fantasia fondant and cut out strips. For depth and detail, I used black and brown petal dust all over the tape. For the strings of the guitar, I just rolled out black Fantasia fondant. Starting from the bottom, paint your cake in this dark blue color. Using a stiff brush, stipple on red paint all over the top of your cake. With your yellow orangey color, go all over on top. Insert the toothpick through the guitar. Using flower molds, create the little marigolds on the base of the guitar. Thank you so much for joining me on this month's free tutorial featuring the Sweet Sugar Crew collaboration. Our movie of the month is Coco. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Instagram and Facebook and make sure to follow my other talented friends as well. They will be in the description box below so that you can see their creations that they created for this collaboration. Thank you.